reasons why Rwanda is called the Singapore of Africa. Rwanda is in many ways an exciting country. It has a population of over 12.6 million, living on 26,338 square kilometers of land, and is the most densely populated mainland African country. And it is also the fifth most densely populated country in the world. One million people live in the capital and largest city, Kigali. You must have probably heard of the small South Asian country of Singapore, with over 5 million people, known popularly as the Lion City or Garden City for its many parks and tree-lined streets. Singapore offers tourists an expeditious glimpse into the cultures brought to it by immigrants from all parts of Asia. According to the Credit Suisse Global Wealth Report 2021, published in June 2021, Singapore is the 10th richest country in the world, with an average wealth per adult of $333,112. With such a feat, it's clear Singapore is on a class of its own. Hello viewers, and welcome to the Explore. In this video, we'll be presenting 10 quick reasons why Rwanda is called the Singapore of Africa. We upload informative content like this daily, so please subscribe and turn on post notifications so as not to miss on our next video. Number 10. Cleanest City Status Rwanda is praised for many different things, from being the land of a thousand hills to hosting the few left mountain gorillas in the world. Most interestingly, the one thing that Rwandans are mostly proud of is being the cleanest city in Africa, and they've maintained this status since 2008. Rwanda has equally become one of the cleanest nations on earth because of its ambitious environmental goal of increasing forests to cover 30% of total land area by 2020, per the World Economic Forum. The country has undertaken massive reforestation and tree planting efforts to achieve this. Even rural areas in Rwanda are so clean. When looking at Singapore, it's obvious that both countries share similar traits in this respect. According to recent Time Out Index survey, 62% of respondents voted Singapore as the world's cleanest and greatest city in the world. One can say Rwanda mirrors Singapore in Africa in terms of cleanliness and tidiness. Number 9. Rwanda is a smart nation We all know how the Western world has evolved rapidly due to fourth and fifth generation of technological innovations. Asian countries such as China and Japan have rapidly overtaken most countries in Europe in technology. In Southern Asia, Singapore has built a world-class, globally competitive tech industry and continues to explore new frontiers in innovation, such as cloud computing, artificial intelligence, quantum computing, data analytics, and other technologies that span healthcare, security, fintech, energy, aviation, and defense. Rwanda has a vision of being a smart nation by 2030. So far, digitalization in the Rwandan society has been very strategic and determined. Step by step, the publicly owned telecom sector has been deregulated. Fiber infrastructure has been built across all parts of the country. A large number of public services have been digitized and the country is on track to meet the target of having 4G coverage across 98% of the country. Number 8. Thriving Fintech Market Financial technology of fintech is the technology and innovation that aims to compete with traditional financial methods in the delivery of financial services. It is an emerging industry that uses technology to improve activities in finance. Not so many African countries are much concerned about fintech innovation as it is a clear drift from the conventional systems in a country's economy and would require both wheat and browns to achieve. Rwandan startup companies which are inherently small are quickly scaling up by embracing fintech, reducing high risks and ensuring smart return on investment just like Singapore's fintech fit 
which is all about innovation, inclusion, and inspiration. Financial transaction scheme on broad scale in Rwanda has rapidly been improved upon via financial technology. Number 7. Tech Center for Startups The Swedish non-profit organization of Norsken has invested approximately $20 million in a campus for startups in Kigali to build a center consisting of startup tech companies and initiatives specifically intended for work, networking, and development. It's currently operational and accommodates up to 880 people full-time. In keeping with Rwanda's 2030 Tech Emergence Plan, in the same light, Singapore rose to prominence. In fact, Singapore was hailed as the Silicon Valley of Asia in KPMG's global ranking of leading tech innovation hubs outside San Francisco. Number 6. Exemplary Model Status In November of 2018, during a business trip to the Rwandan capital Kigali, Alibaba co-founder Jack Ma described his impressions when he first visited the Eastern African nation. When I first came here, I was shocked by its safety, cleanliness, and by its part embrace change. I said if every country in Africa was like Rwanda, how powerful Africa would be. Rwanda can thus be said to be exemplary in Africa. Again, just like its Asian counterpart Singapore, which is not only one of the richest countries in the world, with a developed successful market economy, but also having the absence of corruption and a loyal tax policy. Number 5. Reassured National Safety and Security Rwanda continues to feature as one of the safest countries in the world, according to a new Gallup Global Law and other report. The report has ranked Rwanda 11th globally and 2nd in Africa, with over 87% of citizens saying that they feel safe and confident in the security organs. Generally speaking, Rwanda is as safe as taking a midnight cab to a town or city and have no fear of robbery. This isn't to say one shouldn't take precautions, however, the dangers are moderate. There's little doubt why one can refer to Rwanda as Africa's Singapore, knowing that the strictly enforced other in Singapore has made it to become widely regarded as one of the safest countries in the world, with consistently low crime rates, a transparent legal system, and a reliable police force supported by proactive citizens. Number 4. Stable Political Atmosphere Singapore has been one of Southern Asia's most politically stable countries and in the world at large. Singapore practices a modified version of the Westminster parliamentary system. Each parliament sits for a maximum of five years. The last general election was held on 10th July 2020. The president of the country spearheads the country's political system, respecting the constitution. Accordingly ranked the seventh most effective government globally by the World Economic Forum in 2015, Rwanda has undertaken several reforms aimed at building a democratic citizen-centered and inclusive governance as stipulated by the country's constitution. One can attribute Rwanda's stable, consistent socio-economic and socio-political growth pattern to good and transparent governance. The president of Rwanda, Paul Kagame has rapidly improved the country's governance system to become one of, if not the most stable in Africa. Number 3. The Grass to Grace Common Factor Singapore may be in a bright place now, but it hadn't always been so. During World War II, the country was entangled in a fearsome state of fear, terror, and anxiety from the Japanese. The wartime experience is very much part of Singapore's education curriculum, where school children are taught the importance of defense to this day. Just like Singapore, Rwanda suffered heavy loss during the 1994 genocide, which claimed almost a million lives within three months. Being able to put their past behind and forge ahead to emerge as thriving economies in their respective societies have led both countries to become exemplary. Number 2. 
one of the friendliest African countries. In Rwanda, it's not just the beautiful weather which makes the country a pleasant spot to call home, but equally, locals are also some of the friendliest, most open and welcoming people in Africa. Although Rwanda has a tumultuous history, the situation today is much more stable, with experts reporting feeling extremely safe. The horrendous genocides that took place in the country have progressively been left behind the minds of the ethnic disparities in the country and have rather forged a sense of union, love and trust within locals that exude to the tourists visiting the country. According to a study conducted by Travel Bird, in conjunction with World Cities Day, Singapore ranks out of the world's top 500 tourist destinations based on factors that make visitors feel welcomed. Little wonder why Rwanda is dubbed the African Singapore. Number 1. Low Corruption Status You know a country is really low on corruption and human development index when a top-ranking body, such as Transparency International, says it was unable to produce a comparison of how Rwandan's institutions fared because reports of bribery were so low and corruption reports almost insignificant that no Rwandan organization was included in the regional comparison. Rwanda's renewed commitment to fighting corruption has led to the enactment of many laws covering anti-corruption, whistleblower protection, asset recovery, money laundering, and terrorism financing. The same ranking organization, Transparency International, on Corruption Perceptions Index for 2021, ranked Singapore fourth least corrupt nation in the world, tied with Sweden and Norway out of 180 countries with a score of 85. That brings us to the end of this video. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Please like the video and share it with your friends.